Welcome to the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. We discuss six questions in nine minutes because leaders know how to be concise. We'll go ahead and get started with our guest today. Our first question, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, Sean. My name is John Brenner. I'm the owner of an IT service company and an MSP, which is a managed service provider here in the Permian Basin. We specialize in small to medium-sized businesses. We monitor their systems to help prevent issues, and that connects them directly to our help desk. And so we've um, been very successful at uh, helping clients um, with the, the help desk and the managed services. So Fantastic. Question number two, what is the best thing about working with a team? Well, um, in my experience, um, the camaraderie that you get from um, functioning a, as a team is, is very rewarding. Um, it, it's, it's good for a team to help struggling team members and uplift them so that uh, the team can be successful. And when we do have success as a team, um, celebrating that together is, is, is a lot of fun. So that's, that's what I like the most about it. So. I like that. I like that part about uh, celebrating as a team. I think that's really important to celebrate the wins along the way. So that's fantastic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Question number three, I hear from other leaders of teams that it can be a challenge to get team members engaged. Tell us your thoughts. You know, we, we've struggled with that in the past. And um, what we've found is that when we um, hire someone, um, we've already decided that we like them and that they're going to do well with us. But we take, we make an effort to find out what they like, what their interests are, what things that they're good at. And we try to celebrate those things, encourage them to, um, to advance those skills. We encourage them to go to school to get certifications that they want um, so that they can build up their resume. Um, we, we want the, the members of our teams when they do go at some point um, to, to be better and to be more qualified and to, to um, just be a better human beings, better professionals than when they came to us. So um, I think that when you treat people as though they're important, they um, give you their best effort while they're part of your team. So I love that approach. That is such a great approach to say, we want to make you better than when you started with us and recognizing that you have an opportunity to, to contribute to that journey for them. So thank you so it's, much for sharing that. It seems to work. It, it really does. It really does. So that is great. Glad to hear it. Question number four, what other, well, if better be, what other piece of advice would you like to offer to leaders of teams? Um, I would um, repeat the answer to the last question. Um, uh, we want them to, um, um, to be engaged. We want them to um, want to be a part of the group and, um, uh, if you, if as a leader of a team, if you can encourage that, um, that, that sharing of knowledge and experience across the team, it helps with communication. And it, it really does, you know, raise the level of what that team is capable of doing, basically. Mm. So oh, I like that. That's great. Yeah. Well, question number five, what other successful leaders of teams would you like to recognize that have had a positive influence in your life? Well, when I was thinking about this question, um, I, I thought about the comparison between young officers in the Navy and the chiefs. Um, of course, we would do what the young officers would want us to do. Um, it, sometimes it was a little disorganized and hard to, to really get motivated because sometimes we didn't understand what we were doing. Um, and comparing that to when a chief takes charge, there's no question about what's expected. We were able to get ourselves more organized because we felt like we were um, um, uh, being led in a way that was you know, more experienced. Um, and I, I think that the chiefs in the Navy had a lot to do with my maturity and, um, and I observed and watched how they motivated others. And um, it was a big influence in, in my life. Now, we don't do any yelling around the office, but there are ways to encourage those to, to do their very best. and. Um, the chiefs in the Navy were very much like that. So. Thank you. Also, thank you for your service, but thank you also for recognizing those individuals that, uh, that obviously had a great influence on you. So that's fantastic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Last question. Tell us about your first job. 
So I, um, I was a lifeguard at a water park in the summer and I flipped burgers at the Wendy's um, uh, during the school year. So I, um, I started, you know, saving lives in the summer and killing people with burgers in the, re <laughs> the rest of the year. So uh, those were formative times for me when I was making the, my first money. Um, I, I, I loved being a lifeguard. I didn't necessarily love flipping burgers, but it was good to, to finally start, you know, be working. You know, I, I've been working ever since. So that's a very satisfying feeling, isn't it? When we it is it work. is when you're making your own money and you know buying your own gas and all that. It's it, right. That was important to me. Yes, sir. Absolutely, yes, sir. So. absolutely. Well, John, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. How can people find you? Um, our website is wtitc.com. That's whiskey tango India tango Charlie. And that is also our handle for Twitter, for Instagram, for Facebook. Um, and we would love to have folks visit. We post things to be helpful. And if anyone um, would like to find us or send us a question, we'd be happy to, to help them. So thank you so much. Great. Thank, thank you. you. This is Sean Richards with the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. For more ideas, go to teamengagementpodcast.com. And you can download our engagement booster tip sheet. Again, that's teamengagementpodcast.com. Thanks for joining us today and have a great day.